right, good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are when you're watching this. I'm headed to Mobile Tech. I haven't been here in a few years. Uh, Mobile Tech is a detailing and PDR, primarily PDR Expo. Uh, it's at the Rose and Shingle Creek, so I'm sitting on I-4 in traffic, in the GT3 in the rain, uh, but I couldn't help myself to take a long distance drive in the GT3 because I have the AW exhaust all set up. Anyway, we will be there in a few minutes. I'm gonna try to capture uh, you know, anything I find, walk booth to booth. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a discovery vlog like this. Uh, so I figured it, uh, it'd be worthwhile to bring the camera, uh, walk around, talk to some people, uh, figure out if there's anything new, uh, talk about things that uh, maybe aren't new that I'm interested in and uh, dig in. So I'll be there in a few minutes and I'll bring you along for the ride. All right, walking in, got my badge. I think this time I can show the badge. It's not like SEMA where people steal it. So Jeff and I were just talking about, uh, I'm gonna be going out to, uh, to Boise to uh, work on Microfiber 3.0, as well as um, help them with their new design and garage studio. So uh, Levi, hey, so, so tell me the, the scoop. I know people have seen this, but I don't know how much tech specs people know about it. So the gauntlet, 7030 Korean microfiber, yeah. uh, twist loop, yeah. with the tops cut off. So this is your typical this is like big heavy drying yeah. towel, but they shave it. Yep. So you end up with a softer... Softer edge. Yeah. Uh, and then it's two towels sewn together. Okay. Which gives you that diamond pattern. That's one of the reasons for it. And then mm. 7030 suede edge around it. I don't, so it's any, 900 GSM. I don't think I've ever seen double towel sewn together like that. Is that a new thing? No, we did it with our double twist dress. Okay. So I think we have one over there, but the double twist dress has that little diamond pattern in it. Interesting. Uh, it just allows the towels to bond better. Rather yeah, than so it's not like floppy in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it adds a kind of a neat design. Uh, this is also, fun fact, the world's first patented weave. So mm. this product, Rag Company owns Who's, the patent okay, I was on the weave. Awesome. So we have a worldwide patent on that. Uh, and so we do it in two colors, but we've got different sizes. We got the 1212 for developed as a premium wheel towel. Okay. And then the 15 by 24 uh, is this size. Yeah. Drying. This will dry one whole car, this one towel. I'm sure, yeah. Uh, and then we have a 2030. And then for those of you that really love the biggest, baddest, hugest towel you need, we make a 30 by 36. Ah, uh, yeah. This guy as well. Uh, but this is quite possibly our most absorbent weave that we've ever created or developed, um, and we're very excited just to have. Do we call design. it more absorbent being shaved? I mean, would it not yes. have the same absorbency as a normal twist have, loop? It would technically have the same absorbency because it's the same amount of surface area. Yeah. But for some reason, this just makes it more absorbent having the the, the shaved sections. Yeah, I wonder if it opens up it. the fiber and allows I, it to I think so. grab and hold more water. But in side-by-side -side testing with uh, one of our traditional twist loops, which are the same fiber, yeah. same weave, all that stuff, this is able to pull just a little bit more water. Do you recommend uh, using it dry or do you get it damp? Do you find, which way do you find it works better? Basically, if you just hose down the car, we're basically throwing it on the surface and letting it absorb Got what it. it can get. And, and then start dragging from there. Got it. Uh, but it works great because having that long pile, you can drag. You can wipe, you can pat, you can do all the different styles everybody likes. Awesome. Uh, the biggest thing was like, perception is that uh, the, the twist loop is a, uh, it's a rougher feeling towel, but that's yeah. only because your fingers tend to grab the loops. Yeah. And a lot of people wanted to use twist loops, but they felt it was too rough. So this allowed us to create a softer version of the twist loop. You think it's possible in the future you make an entire shaved loop? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't outrule it. Yeah. I'm sure, we probably could. I don't. I'm just asking. Allowed the difference. Uh, you know, it, it it added a difference in the market that nobody had. There's a little 12 by 12. You're calling the wheel towel, right? Yep. And of course, I'll want to change it, and we'll make our own yeah. uh, one. Ver microfiber version 3.0. That's right. Uh, coming out soon to work on the uh, on the on the studio and uh, yeah, and my the towel towels. package. Well, these are the lights that uh, we saw down at Billy's shop. I think. Uh, I wonder, wonder about using those for coating removal and other things, but applying those type of lights for that rather than just PDR. Keys has been after me for a while. You know, there's so many great products 
Um, you know, the thing that bothers me with uh, with with their products is the bottling. It's just it's just uh, I, you know, I feel like there's a lack of effort effort. But I bet you there's a lot of great formulas in here. You know, Nick and um, I think what's his name, Bob McKee. He's the guy that uh, owned Auto Geek that sold it, but. You know, one of my visions or goals, and maybe not this year, but the following year, would be to go through and order entire product lines and do some, you know, do some testing. Usually, I can follow my gut, but um, I'm sure there's some pretty decent stuff in here. But you know, they're heading down the path of having one too many things. I'm sure. I haven't played with a new machine yet, uh, but I need to get on it. Ooh, there's some uh, Cook Kemi. I need to get on the. Uh, on the machine and see how it feels. All right, new new bottle. We have them. We've been rolling through them. I think we got something here. So PF23. When's it? <laughs> Nobody cares it's about like it. It's like a punch in the gut. It's no, like as soon as, as soon as you get the old, as soon as you get one fixed, then you need a you need a, yeah, exactly. something new. Italy is in the works. The bottle was was phase one of that. So, yeah. Uh, you've heard me preach on this before. A little bit about it at SEMA. Um, we keep getting different versions of it. In fact, I, I owe you. Uh, the new version, the rendition that they sent us. Um, but we're definitely hoping by by SEMA this fall we'll have the 23 out. And yeah, so, yeah, that's the goal. Cool. Yeah, that's the goal. So Mobile Tech is much much smaller than what you're typically used to seeing me tour at, like say uh, uh, SEMA. But you know a lot of the major players are here, so I figured I'd just walk around and show you what what's what's here. I don't really think there's anything new that we're missing out on. I figure we'll just walk around and show you what's up. So one thing you can do is you can come and get your SV, Skills Verified, uh, which we're gonna be shooting a video. I was gonna do it here. I brought all my camera gear, but it's a little too loud. We really wouldn't be able to get a good video. Um, but I'll be getting uh, my, uh, my SV uh, to be a Skills Verified and Certified Detailer through the uh, International Detail Association. I'm a big proponent of that kind of stuff. Getting educated. There's the Ceramic Pro guys. There's the Buff and Shine stuff. Buff and Shine pads. Make nice pads. I still prefer, uh, I still prefer the Rupes stuff though. I'm gonna be going out soon. I need to get with them uh, to go out and uh, spend some time with B&B. If you, if you didn't watch the videos of uh, SEMA, but I want to go out to B&B and really learn about some of the science behind how uh, chemicals are produced and made. You know, Auto Geek is always here selling uh, selling stuff, and um, you know it's it's such a different I have such a different take on this now than I once had in the past. You have IGL, which is super super popular with pros, not so much with me. Doesn't do me any good if it's pro only. Uh, Sonex, Sonex is here, right across from from Auto Geek. Uh, what I didn't realize is that Sonex, the guys who have the import rights, which is Vision Investments, are the ones that bought Auto Geek, not Sonex Corporate. Uh, so that's a common misconception, something I, I wasn't aware of, something I didn't know about. So I've got to get a hold of these. With the new, uh, the new flex tools, the electric yeah, stuff. I, I meant to pre-order them, I just haven't done it yet. And I would like to get the, uh, the 12 volt and 18, and 18 volt machines. So my buddies, PNS, they're doing great at growing the brand, the detailing space. There's Rennie, all the guys talking about whatever they're talking about. There's Dave Phillips, you all guys all know. Chemist PNS, my favorite people to talk to. My beloved uh, copy, copycat Max Shine. I skip right past that booth. Rios. And then I, I've gotten to spend a lot of time with you know a lot of different friends in the industry. It's been fun. Oh, let me show you the new. Um, the new Lake Country uh, polisher. Show you how it works. So the new Euros, right? Udos. Udos. Uh, the way it works, it has rotary. Has uh, what they would call sanding, which is uh, what, three millimeter. Is it eight? So P one. Twelve. 
then 15, then 20. And so what you do, the way it works, is you take the, the alignment rings, right? And so you align the, show, show us how it works. Sure, here. absolutely. So you line up the, uh, the line and yep. you can switch from, so eight, from sanding, eight millimeter, 12. to 12 millimeter, 15, and then all the way up to 21. And the cool thing about it, which I don't think was part of the original design, is it has a rotary, you know, the rotary right. mode. Yep, so we'll go all the way back down to rotary. Production is expected March? Uh, March, April, yes. Got it. Absolutely. What's the, the we, have we released pricing yet? Uh, $6.99. $6.99? Yes. Awesome, thank you. So, uh, Ian, we've still been talking about doing um, the, coating, the coating removal towel that's numbered. So he's going to get me one of those soon, with a, the, called the Quadrant Pal. So I don't know what the deal is here, but um, uh, you know, Turtle Wax, and um, I guess they bought the wax shop, the brand? I'm not sure. That's the rumor, anyway. But you won't see me using any Turtle, turtle Wax crap. I was talking to uh, Marcus at uh, McGuire's. They're uh, showing all of their all their ceramic stuff. i got to get my hands on it to... Uh, try it out. You know, so many darn products, so much stuff that I need to get my hands on, but um, I'm sure he's going to get it to me soon here to uh, convince me to use some of the stuff. And then their new version of the, the sunlight, which is really cool. So the rest of this place is all PDR. I really, I'm really interested in it. There's so many cool tools and things, but you've got to be a gosh darn artist in order to be able to do that kind of stuff. You know, I thought, this is six or seven years ago, but I thought I could just take a training on uh, on how to do it on a weekend, pay like five grand, and just take a week and learn how to do it, but it takes years and years and years. Forget forget that dream. All right, so that's mobile tech. The, you know, there isn't all that much to show. Uh, I'm in a unique place in that I've been uh, chasing this for so long uh, and have uh, a really solid, process that I've been using for a number of years that has evolved as I've discovered new products. Uh, it makes me uh, very aware of what, what's next with detailing, and that's to buy entire lines of product like like the McKee's line and and uh, like I have the Angel Wax line in my cabinet and who knows what else is out there that I'm unaware of, but things like Cook Chemi and things like that that I could uh, I could spend you know a week on and make a video series on and uh, see if there's something that uh, I like much much better than what I'm already using in the process so I think going to shows like mobile tech are super important uh, but something that did occur to me I was talking with uh, Kyle who has a channel called wax mode so he and I got to talking and it, you know, it occurred to me then I, I wondered what you guys thought of this you know OGHQ is about to go through a little bit of a transformation and that we're gonna move all of the stuff I have from one side to the other. I'll probably change some products, uh, I'm putting a new, a new compressor, maybe a new lift, uh, and, uh, and also uh, making some modifications to the hose reels, so we'll be able to display those. Uh, and so in the next, you know, I would say next month and a half, uh, OGHQ will be in a much better position to host some more people. Uh, I've got the moderators coming next month, uh, so I was thinking, you know, what if I why don't I host like a like a YouTube detailer summit and have all the guys that uh, all the big YouTuber people uh, come to uh, uh, will create I'll create some sort of some sort of content um, uh, you know, summit I, I don't know what I would do what the agenda would be uh, maybe detail a car or something and get it give everybody an opportunity to to display expertise uh, or talk about what they've learned. Uh, share stories and just have somebody vlogging it the whole time uh, and so that everybody could share that on their channel uh, something like that I think it'd be neat and I, I probably have the facility to do that uh, and so I think that uh, I think maybe I'll try to put something like that together I don't know what do you think who would you want to see uh, come out to uh, an obsessed garage uh, YouTube detailer summit uh, both pros, uh, you know, that, that have uh, a, a large following or, uh, you know, YouTube guys, you know, Pan and John Forensic Detailing Channel, see if I can, I thought I convinced Larry, but Larry Cosilla, uh, and, uh, and have, you know, have all the, all the big names and, and detailing, uh, and just get everybody together. And, you know, I was watching the, I was watching the Kevin Hart uh, documentary on Netflix where you see all these comedians that collaborate so much. 
uh, and all us goofs uh, that uh, are really into detailing that do it on YouTube, I think could be kind of neat to get together. So uh, that was part of what I'd experienced at, at Mobile Tech was you know this idea of man, there's such camaraderie that comes together, like all these people that I've met. Uh, there's been such a change. You know, when I first started doing this, you know, a guy that uh, that was in his garage loving. Uh, polishing a car and loving fixing um, uh, imperfections in the paint and then maintaining it. There was such pushback, you know, three, four years ago when I went to Mobile Tech, uh, I would get uh, the stink eye from people, for the few people that knew who I was. Uh, and now there seems to be such a such a difference, and uh, and uh, and maybe it's maybe it's people have kind of figured out that uh, that that maybe I'm not full of crap, uh, that I just love it, and and it's it's something that I'm really interested in. So I I think I probably met a hundred people uh, that you know you guys that watch the video, some of you are probably watching now that that uh, that were there. So I appreciate spending the time. In fact, I barely got around the show because I would stand from one position to the next and you know if guys that I know that are in the business and, and people that I've met and then people who watch the videos and even some of the PDR guys watch the videos uh, I spent some time with uh, with a bunch of a uh, bunch of what I would call now my friends in detailing which is uh, which is really cool even with me and my grander plans being the garage, you know, detailing is a major component of the garage, uh, I was still able to spend the time and uh, really enjoyed uh, uh, the, you know, the, the, the ability to swap stories and share and, and, uh, and meet a bunch of new people that I haven't met before. So anyway, that's mobile tech, uh, not super exciting, but uh, I, you know, I shot the footage, captured a couple of things, figured I'd mention this idea about maybe creating a YouTube detailer summit. If you guys are watching this and you're on YouTube uh, or somebody shared it with you, uh, just shoot me an email, matt at obsessedgarage.com. If you're interested in something like that, maybe we could do something in the in the summer. Uh, and uh, and you have 8OGHQ as the host, and I'm sure we could get all the best products uh, to show up here so we could uh, we could we could play with and uh, you know, share with everybody else you know what goes on and the conversations that are had wouldn't it be cool if we had somebody following around everybody all day every day and just capturing the organic conversations i think that'd be pretty sweet anyway thanks for watching and uh, if i met you at uh, mobile tech i appreciate the time and uh, back to uh, finishing up over the next couple of days the uh, vinwiki garage uh, and then i've got some car modification stuff and who knows what else i'm going to get into coming up here shortly Thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy.